Hi everyone. Well, I don't think it looks great in here at the minute, but um, I'm going to give you a bit of an update because people asked me um, when I did the last one to show the work in progress. So um, I've been working in here today, sort of packing orders. So some of these boxes here are not in the right place, but they've also been moved about because um, now this used to be where I recorded, as you can see, I've got the ring light there um, and my mannequin. And I used to have like a sideboard and a, you could see wall. But now that's all kind of gone. I've got a little seat here, so I'm just going to park. Hang on a sec. So now I have these cubbies, which need filling. Um, the ones at the top are just a little two. Um, like they've, they're only two, so they're all side by side and put at the top. And this one here, when I bought this one, um, I said to Gary, oh, I might have two, actually. So he went and got me another one. But he got me one that only had two cubbies and one big gap. Uh, well, it actually has a shelf, which is just up there, this thing here. But unfortunately, it's designed to be vertical. So the shelf is not fit for purpose, really. It just is a vertical kind of would go downwards like that it just that'd be too big cupboard so i'm going to do something with that anyway i'm going to put yarn in it or maybe some boxes like those ones can stack in there which would just be um as good anyway but that's where um i used to have all of the puzzles that i sold in my shop hobby rocks but now that's going to be for my yarn which needs putting away as you can see. So that is still a bit on the messy side, but <laughs> um but yeah, there's all my all my yarn is over this side. So this is me. This is my yarn. There are cubbies at the bottom, you can just about see them. And um there's in those cardboard boxes there is more of my yarn. But up here, now this part, this part seriously needs clearing out because all of these boxes apart from some that you can see have got yarn in um but the majority like those two and all of the others that go all the way to the floor are stuff from my previous house that um i don't have room for yeah not good but there's two at the top you can just about see that one behind and this one here and that one they are kind of yarn the rest the rest isn't the rest is not yarn but um all of this from here to the floor and all the way down that's all hobby box yarn in boxes now not all of it is in the boxes there as you can see lots of it is in the boxes at the back and um so if we go down you can see i've labeled them all and i've got so i can find stuff now um there's my heaters for the winter and that's my yarn apart from this one um the rest this is all technical stuff like plugs and recording equipment and things like that there's brian mentioned him earlier on the previous one so this is the end of the yarn -a fan where i've got lots more yarn so over in the corner this was going to be my tea area but it didn't quite work out but i've got these little things where you keep your knickknacks and paper and all that um it needs clearing out to be honest with you and i've got some chests of drawers it's like a little kitchen cupboard actually but in there are crochet hook sets and um little kind of some um accessories and that the like so then along here i've got my there's my kettle brought in from the house got my um tea and coffee making facilities over here but i've also this is where i keep the <clears throat> biscuits and stuff when i send them off these are little freebies i sometimes put in from magazines but it's getting harder to judge that sort of thing because when i get orders i don't know if people crochet or knit but i've just been packing that's why it's a bit of a mess and i used my hobby rooks cup for the first time look at that yes i did and then there is my new cut, um drawers above them i've got all the puzzles and tape measures and stitch markers and a few crochet sets a lot of the crochet sets now are in boxes and down there i've got more yarn um that's just packing case don't like to throw it away but it's too heavy so i've got all my packaging stuff in there i've got some crochet hook sets these don't really have anything in at the minute that's my old winder i've yet to fill these there's all the tea bags and stuff that i put in orders and flavored ones we've got wool genies in these ones we've got 
um, uh, eye cord knitters and little yarn dollies in there. We've got bag handles. See, I labelled them. How good is that? And then I've got um, all the puzzles up there and some more um, uh, thingies. You know, what am I trying to say? Crochet hook crochet kits then we've got my chest of drawers there and another one now these have all got diamond paintings in and lots and lots of other things that's just a mess but keeping me company is grogu so um yeah i've got to sort this area out it's um still a work in progress but i thought i'd jump on here and anyway, why not jump but give you an update now remember my remember my stall that i was doing here it is so all of the all of the things have been added now. I've just got to secure it at the corners. But this is what it looked like. See, it was an old, bobbly, really sort of... That's not stains. That's where it's going threadbare. So I, I did this with Ice Yarn, Universe and Rockstar. It's very, very shiny. It's beautiful. Um, and so, yeah, I will, one of these days, I will finish it one day. But, yeah, so it's coming on and, you know up this end you could not get the floor space it's not brilliant there's all these bags but hopefully when these cubbies are filled i can get the, a lot of them are full of whips i know bad huh but not all some of them are full of things like my christmas decorations and um behind the mannequin there is an area where my christmas tree lives and things like that but yeah most of this area is now sorted out it just needs this this back wall here that all needs to go and if that was to go i would have so much more yarn space and all of this could perhaps go and i could get my recording area back to pretty that'd be nice it would but um yeah anyway that's a little a little update on the yarn room the yarn van um as it stands at the moment and in the window you can see julie's um mandalas that she made for me beautiful i brought this computer out and um but yeah i've got lots to do still it's still very much a work in progress but can I do and there's my sewing machine still not been used since the day i bought it which is not good there's a little bag with grogu on it but that um yeah that's it really <clears throat> just oh and there's where i keep all my bags for packing they were neat until i did some packing today and that there that little contraption here is the recording equipment Remember i was stuck out the house the other day i was oh my trim fell off gary's got to put it back um i was stuck out here the other day um i'd for some reason one of the doors in the house um kind of jammed and i couldn't get back in and so i came out here and did lots of work which is why it's come along quite a lot and um what was i saying oh, I can't, oh yeah i found that equipment and decided to do an open with me with it just to test it out i had originally got it for tutorials as well but i'm not sure that it will work very well on a tutorial we'll have to uh give it a bit more of a test i think but yeah there is so much yarn now that the racking that I did have doesn't cope anymore. I was thinking of getting some racking for the back. I thought, you know, once I clear that uh, end lot of racking and um, some of that can go away, maybe at the back there I could get a small racking and then maybe a chest of drawers or something where I can have my recording area back. So the chest of drawers would be over this side and so behind it i'll have a little bit of wall to put my crochet rock sign and my on-air sign that i used to have and all that um again so that would be nice if i could do that but it won't be overnight that's for sure um none of this has happened overnight um none of my kind of updates that i've been doing it's been a bit of a slog to be honest with you it's hard to find the time and it's hard to find the energy, but uh, I knew I had to do it and it was such a massive task. Um, the next task I have is to come out here and fill up those cubbies and, uh, yeah. See, so, yeah, over there I've been collapsing boxes that were taking up a lot of space, so it's really getting more spacious in here, but it's still got a little way to go, I know. But, yeah, there's the update so far. I'll let you know another update when I... Um, 
when I make some more progress. Anyway, thanks very much for joining me. And uh, if you haven't found this shop yet, yeah, it's hobbyrocks.co.uk. And at the moment, I've got a free... I'm sorry if I'm covering up. <laughs> I don't know if I'm even covering up the microphone the whole. But um, yeah, so hobbyrocks.co.uk. And I'm, at the moment, got a free crochet hook um for for purchases but um that's kind of getting very low now very low so i'll have to think of a new promotion anyway i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching um yep yeah, and down there you just about see more crochet kits you see all these boxes they they are actually used for some things even though they're kind of not on the shelves okay then bye for now take care everyone <laughs>